I just got this email in my inbox this morning from the California North Youth Soccer Association, presumably because I just signed my five-year-old up for a local soccer team, um, but I thought it was a great opportunity to talk about how Prime is not really a sports drink and what we really need to be looking for when reaching for either an electrolyte beverage, which is typically rich in sodium and doesn't have too many carbohydrates, or a sports drink, which has a lot of sodium because, again, remember, that's what we're primarily losing in our sweat, and carbohydrates to replenish our stores after either an intense, um, shorter activity, shortish, um, say like a soccer match, soccer game, um, or, you know, an endurance activity, something longer than 60 to 90 minutes. All right. So Prime, it advertises as, you know, it'll help you refresh, replenish and refuel. It's kind of missing the obvious point that you can't refuel without calories or without carbs. Depending on which flavor you choose, you're getting five to six grams of carbohydrate and like 20 or 25 calories. So it's basically nothing. But here's the real kicker. It only gives you like 10 to 15 milligrams of sodium. It's basically nothing. For some reason, it's giving you 700 milligrams of potassium from coconut water. Okay, well, yeah, we lose some potassium, but that's not really the main thing we need here. And then what truly boggles my mind is it has all these vitamins in there, B vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin E, and then it has sucralose. So this product really is useless and is not worth your money. I am really upset that it's marketing to children. Uh, do not buy this product.